discourse of our nation. But when you have the President of the United States being the divider in chief, saying to people, lock her up at rallies, saying to people, I'll pay for whoever punches out the protester, saying to individuals that, uh, in fact, uh, there was some equality of what happened at Charlottesville between neo-Nazis and white supremacists and peaceful protesters, saying to the people of America that the press is the enemy of the people. Well, when you create that type of environment, uh, then you create a toxic environment. I have stood up to this president on all of these issues. My opponent has remained silent on all of these issues. And so the environment that we have is largely created by this president. And I hope that we could find ourselves at a point in time in which we would have uh, a different discourse in the nation. Mr. Hugan, Mr. Menendez just said you haven't stood up to this president. I'll give you 30 seconds if you care to respond. Yeah, I absolutely want to respond. That's just not right. The incivility is on both sides, Democrats and Republicans. Think of what other people like Hillary Clinton said and uh, et cetera. So it's both sides. And I've stood up to this president. I've been independent all my life. I'm pro-choice. I'm pro-marriage equality. I'm against offshore drilling. I just support the $10,000 cap on state and local tax deductions. I've been independent my entire life. When I go to Washington, I'm going to go to lead, not follow. The Senate Ethics Committee admonished you and said you broke the law. How should voters view this episode in your life as they decide whether or not to send you back to Washington? Well, thank you, Michael. Look, the reality is I understand that there are people in our state who are disappointed. And I apologize to them. But I also want them to look at my totality of service. Senator Menendez on the Finance Committee. But he wasn't there because he was on trial in federal court when he could have been in a bipartisan way, prevented that $10,000 cap. And let's also be clear, this is, not, this is not a trial we're here today. This is a job interview for the next six years, <clears throat> excuse me, the next six years in our state. And the kind of behavior, the kind of testimony, not qualified to be reelected. Mr. Mendez, your reply. Yeah, look, uh, first of all, <laughs> I was in the Finance Committee and fought the Trump tax bill, which he endorses and supports. Of course, he likes it because he got a big tax cut as a result of it as a multimillionaire. Now, and his company, who he parked $7 billion abroad instead of paying taxes here in the United States of their earnings. So I understand why he likes the Trump tax bill. But the reality is I offered an amendment on the Senate floor during this debate, so he's wrong that I was in trial. My amendment would have restored the full deductibility of the state and local property tax. Every Democrat voted for it. Every Republican voted against it. Let's just get, just get a quick reply on whether you profited from the Trump tax cut. Just another mischaracterization and false. Absolutely. I can assure you I'm paying more taxes under this tax bill, and I would have never voted for with a $10,000 cap on New Jerseyans on our state and local taxes. Senator Menendez has voted for over 500 tax increases in his tenure, including increasing taxes on your Social Security check. So when you're think, please remember that when you're paying your taxes. There are some good parts of the tax reform bill that you asked about. But the state and local tax deduction cap in New Jersey means I could have never voted for that bill would that be included at a $10,000 level. This is a debate conversion. I've read tons of articles that says that he supported the bill. He didn't you, like you, the state and local property tax deduction, but that he supported the bill. That's just not true. And so, well, there, it's, not true. It's, it's just, well, I think you may, you should read the papers that you talk to. Yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, it's made it very clear that he supported it, talked about all the benefits of it, just didn't like the deductibility being lost. And so, you know, I, I, I don't, and, th and there's not, let me tell you, there's not 500 votes on taxes. So that's an outrageous, outlandish, and another deception on we'll your part of one. this entire campaign. I, I don't support the president offshore drilling. I don't support him on the failure to support our infrastructure here in New Jersey. I don't support the tax bill with a $10,000 cap on state and local tax deductions. I'm pro-choice, pro-marriage equality. I'm a leader. I'm not a follower. I'm going to go to Washington and work with Democrats and Republicans to put the people's issues first as opposed to party and politics. And that's what we need. We need people who are going to be leaders and independent leaders, and I'm going to be that independent leader. Can in 60 minutes change what you've been for 60 years? The reality is, is Mr. Hugan, when he was in Princeton, stops, talks about he, he's for women. When he was in Princeton, he fought against women joining the Princeton eating clubs that were all male. 
When he left Princeton after the Supreme Court of New Jersey said that was unconstitutional, he litigated it through federal courts all the way to the Supreme Court of the United States, only to have the woman who was leading the effort win. And when she won, he said she was a politically correct fascist. He said that gay students at Princeton wouldn't ultimately make it out of his eating club. That's not someone who is anything but a Trump Republican. This president has opposed us every step of the way on the Gateway Tunnel, which is a project of national significance. Two new trans-Hudson tunnels under the Hudson River, replacing a century-old Porter Bridge that is the linchpin between Boston and Washington for intercity rail transit. Even though the administration opposed us and said that they would veto a budget that had any money in it for Gateway, I, working with my colleagues, got over a half a billion dollars into the Gateway Project to keep it moving. We will make it happen at the end of the day. I wish we had an administration who worked with us because it would be faster, cheaper, and better for the people of New Jersey. 30-second rebuttal, Mr. Yes. Hughes. Gateway Project should have been done 25 years ago. We had balanced budgets in the 90s. <clears throat> so this is something that should have been done a long time ago. And Senator Menendez has been in Washington for 25 years. And so everybody on the television here, every time you hit a pothole or your New Jersey train is canceled, your transit train is canceled, remember, Senator Menendez has been representing you in Washington for 25 years. Washington has failed us on infrastructure in both Democratic and Republican administrations. Only about 10 percent of New Jerseyans even knew there were sworn FBI affidavits with very specific allegations and corroborating evidence about sexual misconduct. and that when he pushed back on it, the FBI and the Justice Department told him, you are making demonstrably false claims. Those are lies. The people of New Jersey deserve on November 6th to get all the information and form the judgment themselves. Mr. Menendez. Every fact checker, not that I say it, every fact checker has disputed it has said it's an outright false. It's a lie, Bob. It's a lie. And you know it's a lie. Be on you know it's a lie. lie. I didn't the interrupt you. Don't interrupt television. me. You know it's a lie. Now, let me just say this. I know why he spent $25 million in false negative advertising. He doesn't want the New Jerseyans to know that, for example, when he was the CEO of the company, the federal government sued for Medicare fraud, for Medicaid fraud, for veterans fraud, for not telling patients about potentially fatal false. side effects. No, false. Fatal side effects. And you, you did that. Who does that? No, not true. All right. Gentlemen, an issue that we hear a lot about, I know I've heard.